uh, intentions, distractions, and something that has been in your uh, playlist uh, this week. Let's start with um, Acid Laser. Thanks, Chewy. Uh, intentions. Just want to sing with you guys and see what's in this week. I really don't have distractions and in my playlist I have been I have been listening to a band I used to listen in my adolescence called Cloud Nothings a garage band and I really recommend them and I pass it to uh Septi is right here right Yeah thanks I think sure yeah, my intention is just to sync up, see how Combs is doing and if there's something I can support. And yeah, for the playlist, uh, yeah, Blake, uh, take a new album like a week ago. And yeah, it's awesome. So yeah, listen, Blake. I'll pass it to Juan. Thanks, Epti. Um, yeah, my intention is to sync with you guys. Um... I don't have any distraction. I am um, well focused. And um, yeah, I, actually, I don't have anything new on my playlist. Um, I did a meditation today that's really good, so I will share that. And I'll pass to um, Edu. Oh, I think Edu was in an elevator. Uh, he mentioned something. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Um, uh, let's pass it to David. David. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm glad to be here at another comms meeting. Uh, intentions are to connect with everybody and uh, get the latest on the direction of the comms DAO and, and share my uh updates and distractions um nothing really today and from my playlist uh you know my last night i was listening to a bit of billy eilish thanks to my daughters they were they they, uh, they always uh share some of the latest pop music with me and so this uh billy eilish has some skills i gotta dig deeper and with that i will uh pass it um how about to Mount, Mount Manu? Thanks, David. Uh, yeah, for me, I've got a, I got a good playlist going on. Some Phil Collins, David Bowie, Peter Gabriel, uh, Cool and the Gang, Talking Heads, you know that type of thing. Gets you moving. Uh, I'll put on the I'll put on the comps channel. And uh, intentions to to get back on contributing uh, to comms and um, no distraction. Um, I think zero. Are you? Yes. Hello. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, my intentions are to uh, maybe help you guys uh, with the social media management if uh, uh, David uh, steps out of the position got a new haircut and uh, yeah uh, only only good vibes for this week <laughs> and I'll pass it to Zeptimus if I already went uh, David? Yeah, I think uh, Zero was the uh, the last one, or uh, Edu, uh, you didn't go, right? Yes, I didn't go. Oh, um, yeah. So intentions, uh, sorry, um, playlist. I was listening to the last song of Estromai. He launched a new song um, last week, and it's a really nice song because it's about basically people who think they don't deserve to party like nurses, people who work in um, fishermen, people who you think, or people that assume they don't deserve to party because they only think about work. And and the song encourages you to party and dance and celebrate. 
uh, just because you deserve it um, and because you're alive. And it's a really nice song. Um, I will share it later. Back to you, Shay. Yeah, I want to I wanna listen to that just by your description for sure. Uh, okay, so uh, my intention is uh, also to sing, to follow up on, on different uh, stuff going on in, in comps. Um, and on my weekly playlist, um, I think I have, uh, I have been listening to a lot of uh, Radiohead. Uh, the last, nice. uh, I think, two albums, uh, like uh, A Moon Shape Pool, and I think it's uh, King of Limbs, the other one. Um, I, I, I played uh, video games during the weekend. Uh, I played uh, Left 4 Dead, and some of the music like reminded me a lot of uh, uh, like some of uh, the last year's uh, Radiohead, so I started listening uh, to that a lot this week. Um, so yeah, uh, always remember to uh, drop your recommendations in the uh, in the comps channel. Okay, so uh, we're we're gonna start with uh, our first uh, agenda topic, which is uh, the current status on on team. Uh, I wanted to share with you some uh, uh, some of the stuff that we have been uh, exploring. Uh, also, it's a great thing that uh, Edu is here, but uh, because I haven't been able to attend the community call, and I haven't had the time uh, either to catch up with uh, with the meeting. So uh, I I would just like uh, uh, to to clarify uh, like what are some of the like the stewardship like duties that that I I uh, think could be good for uh, for team and. And uh, also, uh, yeah, just to, to uh, be aware of, of where our community is, is picking uh, something up and, and how we can uh, think around that. So uh, our new manifesto and some of the changes that we've been adding is uh, the, de the definition of, uh, of the different like stages or, or uh, roles within, uh, within our own uh, like DAO and, 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 and fund management. Uh, and I, I wanted to uh, also be clear about, uh, about some of the stewardship uh, duties, which is uh, guiding and supporting comms contributors through their uh, stages, as well as integrating them to our processes. Uh, have a weekly comms working group call, which is uh, this, this same one, but uh, presenting the status of uh, current projects that, uh, that we are uh, supporting. Uh, also to moderate the weekly thing for uh, active projects and, and contributions and to facilitate uh, uh, communications needs in the T community to creative teams, uh, which is the part of uh, bridge uh, building uh, between communities that we have uh, discussed. So uh, to be also uh, like clearer about these contributions, I, I, uh, I, I took like this uh, templates from uh, from Miro uh, uh, to kind of like explain where uh, like w what could be like a good uh, path for contributors that are uh, associated with any kind of act uh, creative activity. So I feel that this like uh, first approach to the TEC should be like the same uh, as it is right now. But I feel that this could also uh, clarify, like, when you are able to, let's say, like, uh, onboard uh, someone, uh, Edu, or, or like, uh, categorize them, like, according to what they, they do and where they feel that they can contribute. Uh, this is the part where uh, observation, I feel that it's something, uh, like, uh, mutual, let's say, because... Uh, Communitas could be like guiding them. It's like, oh, like your set of skills could really, really uh, help out in, in comp, right? So uh, in a way, like between like stewards, there can be communication. So I can be like aware of who is approaching uh, just so that I can keep like uh, track of, of uh, like their process and also guide them through uh, observation uh, like itself, like make some of recommendations about uh, what's going on and just the gen, oh uh, yeah, go ahead. 
Oh, yeah, um, yeah. There is um, this is uh, an intercommunication that could be really interesting to talk about. Uh, I don't want to take too much time for this, but uh, we uh, we basically also have I don't everything you should have access with us, as well as my manual, the orientation data that it's on the menu in this core below information, where people who has fulfilled the the survey and the question about what is the interest of them in the DC, they have answers there. So, um, for example, what I am doing right now uh, is an orientation. I'm welcoming everyone publicly because I was doing it privately, but then there was this uh, there was this suggestion from time to make it publicly rather than uh, privately. So, what I'm doing, which is what I did uh, today, for example, with the girl from um, this um, uh, magazine that she shared about the TEC, is that I take you, you and Mal Manu publicly so it's like you can welcome her publicly and then you can move on to a private stage uh but the idea is to bring uh, at least my intention is to bring visibility so right now this process of observation um when i see someone who is clearly on the intention to go to a comms for example as graphic designer there's a, like three or four persons who have entered and filled the questionnaire and they have answered they are interested in communications or have this sort of skills uh, is that well, I would probably go to the orientation channel and publicly like, hey, uh, X person, um, welcome to the TEC. Um, I would like to put you in contact with this person, Maumanu or you, or anyone else from the comms group. Uh, he is the person, blah, 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 blah. So uh, in that way, if someone else also who didn't fulfill the, uh, who didn't fill the questionnaire can see it too, and he can go to you. Um, so yeah, that's that's my suggestion for this practice. We can we can improve it or change it as uh, as however you see it fit. Uh, perfect, Manu. If uh, uh, do you have uh, access to this uh, link? Uh, I don't. I don't believe so. No. It's uh it's on on the server uh, below information. I don't know if you can see it. Uh. It's just below tick TEC GitHub updates. It should be public for stewards and contributors. Okay, let me let me look for it. Okay, I will I will send you an invite, both of you. But it's it's very easy to it's the best thing so far. It seems you already have permission to that. All right, I will figure it out and then share it to you. But yeah, it's orientation data. That's the name of the of the place. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, so um, I don't know if uh, uh, like you 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 uh, agree with this with this part, uh, Edu, but I feel that uh, there are some like. Uh, interactions like between uh creatives and the way like they are uh getting to know their way around uh the community uh which is something that gets picked up by our uh future reward system um so the idea is to have uh uh maybe like a design channel or or some spaces uh like this where people can uh like experiment um uh, I know that we're going to talk about like uh, branding guidelines uh, later on in, in, in the call, uh, but I personally don't uh, disagree with uh, with this space in different doubts, uh, like the like the design channel in, in one type, uh, for example, like most of that, like doesn't really like apply to to the guidelines. Uh, but I like how it is like a space where people can like experiment and try out like, hey, I made this, like, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm really good with illustration, so I made this, like, B, and uh, this B, like, has, like, some kind of, you know, like, they're trying to get there, and, and I, uh, I feel that uh, providing, like, this kind of, of spaces in, in, in thumbs can be, uh, uh, can be uh, really good, maybe, like, some, like, the workshops, like, picking up on this uh, other idea, uh, and I feel that this can all like participate in the uh, in the reward uh, system. Um, so just to just to understand yeah. this point, so you would like to add um, an onboarding journey 
to add a section or a part that it's for creative persons. So they can sort of go directly to this channel or uh, yeah, to this channel that will have this design part, correct? Um, not, not, I mean, not, not, not really like, uh, like specifically like that. Uh, but I mean, once, once people get into the observation stage and they can, uh, like take a look at what comes is working on, um, to be able to provide like opportunities for them to interact with our re reward system. If it's either like a forum discussion or if it's like a channel with like random designs or, or anything like this, or if it's like, uh, I don't know, like some kind of like design workshop with uh, Acid Laser, for example. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, like all of these interactions are going to be uh, like measured, right, by our reward system. Uh, so, so if these spaces are, are places where people and creatives can like uh, uh, start making some approaches, uh, I feel that uh, the reward system can be like a good like first step into uh, getting them into uh, like wh what everything else is about, right? I mean, okay. they can't really like jump into bounties uh, okay. right away. Um, it could be, uh, just to finish this point, um, on the onboarding journey, we have three sections. The first one is the validation of the user to access the server. The second is the question that people answer which is the orientation that a channel that I will give you access to later. And then the other one is a guide where you click on, uh, it's a permanent channel for you, where you click on that, it will uh, deploy uh, information or text. So we can we can label as whatever we want. And there are like up to five uh, options, I think, to click on. So we can actually have one that is just to imagine that says creatives, uh, contributors, or when you click on contribution, I want to contribute then that deploys uh, an option that it goes to uh, bounties or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. like, so we can add it to the onboarding journey on this section. So you, you, everyone will be able to see it and the, and the people who want to contribute specifically can have the information right away. Um, mm -hmm. As the same way, we are also welcoming them personally in, in some stages. So just to um, try to add your feedback to this journey. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. No, I, 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 I agree. And in, 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 uh, as I said, like, I'm not very informed, uh, unfortunately, about uh, uh, like what's going on in designing this uh, like journey. So, so yeah, I mean, this, this is all good. So I can uh, like think up with, with that and, and make it work a little bit better with this. So uh, just in case anyone else has uh, like some question about the reward system, uh, I was looking for this that uh, Christopher put together, which uh, is, is, is really uh, like nice and, and just explanatory uh, about uh, how the reward system is gonna be working and, and what kind of data this is gonna be collecting. So uh, what, what, I'm, what I'm talking to uh, Edu about, like uh, uh, about the reward system would be like, how can these uh, things be focused in people that make some graphic design, in people that are writers, in people that, uh, you know, like are, are, are good with maybe some like social media management or, or just any community management, right? So um, as, a, as a working group, as a team, like how can we like apply these, uh, some of these uh, things to, uh, to these creatives for, for them to uh, use our reward system and engage with our governance while they have like these uh, experiences like interacting and getting into the uh, into the DAO. So uh, actually, I, I, uh, something happened these uh, these last uh, days, uh, like about a uh, like a project that uh, Asset Laser and I like a side project that we started working on. Uh, and he had an experience with Poland, which is uh, one hive uh, reward system. Uh, so in a way, like because of the because the community uh, recognized uh, like uh, what what we did for for this project called uh, Alvin, and because uh, like we got nominations, which is like kind of like their praise, but more like source rate uh, based. Like there's more more like automation uh, in it. Uh, uh, they, they, uh, we got a nomination because of this and, uh, like he, he got like some, some honey, uh, yesterday, I think. 
So the idea is for incentivize people to engage uh, with something like this and offering our like reward system, let's say, uh, up for the community to like evaluate this uh, these contributions. Um, are there any questions like uh, uh, about this? Uh, Manu? No. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, I thought you wanted to uh, say something. So the reward system, as you know, is, is something that uh, is gonna uh, be uh, uh, like recognized continuously uh, uh, like um, uh, among the, the community. Um, so this thing uh, uh, will, will keep working uh, for any other like stages that there may be like from, from there on. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned, that, like in, in the specific uh, description of, of, uh, of these roles, um, there are like project managers and there are also uh, contributors that can claim uh, bounties in uh, the new creative, which is what we were talking about, uh, uh, and that engage more with, uh, with the rewards uh, system. So uh, I wanted to quickly like go uh, through some of these uh, like updates uh, for, for team. Um, and yeah, I would just like to uh, listen to like any kind of uh, feedback or questions that you might have. Uh, this has been like a, a really uh, like recurring topic. And uh, I feel that this this next sprint uh, we're gonna be uh, like putting this in shape for for uh, for a formal uh, advice process. So if you have any questions or don't like really understand uh, something, uh, please please like even if you do so, this is uh, good feedback. Uh, just like in print. So uh, are are there any questions uh, about these uh, updates? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're gonna go to our next uh, agenda topic, which, which is uh, the Forefront uh, DAO collaboration on uh, October 27th. Um, Edu, uh, do you want to uh, talk about that uh, uh, a little bit more? It's like a presentation that goes for uh, uh, like an hour long for the community, is this right? Yeah, so hello. Um, so basically, the forefront, this is uh, something that could be also for in general interest of bombs, um, which I haven't had time to update. But basically, in orientation data, we also get the question of where do you come from? And a lot of people has coming from different things. And in this case, they come they came from a podcast. It seems that we were mentioned on the forefront uh, podcast. And I went to a server and I was like, hey, thank you for uh, mentioning us. And a bunch of people has come into our server. So thank you for that. Blah, blah. And they were like, hey, we, we would love to have you. Uh, we have a community kind of session uh, and we have slots available if you are interested in presenting your project to so everyone can get a feeling of it. And, um, and they send me a little bit of the structure. I put it in the agenda somewhere. Um, so it, as as Chui mentioned, it's an hour uh, long um, session, but it's quite simple. It's basically, a, it's a hangout that runs for an hour, um, consists in 10 or 15 minutes of introduce of intros and background, and then uh, 30, minutes, 30 minutes of deep dive conversation. And the last 10 minutes are for audience questions. And um, the conversation is super casual. Um, so yeah, that's basically, he mentioned that he can have up to uh, three persons of the EC to to be to be able to to, um, to be present, um, and it's usually at nine a.m. Uh, PDT, um, which is about I think five p.m. CET, something like that. Um, I'm gonna check because I don't remember. Um, which time is on the It's around this time. I think it's like 6.30 right now. Yeah, 6. It's 8, a 6. 8. Yeah, it's 6 CET. 
exactly. You're right. Um, so yeah, I this this is for me it's tricky on Wednesdays because I have orientation call at that time. So I was uh, thinking on um, joining part of that session, but not entirely. But I would like to know. I haven't confirmed it. I have. Co I haven't uh, confirmed the day yet. I was waiting for you guys to see if you were interested. If that. Uh, and this as a reference for also future, uh, future, my God, my English today, for future collaborations, because a lot of people are coming from different things. We have also uh, people coming from uh, the How to Dow Curse from Uberhouse. Uh, and uh, we have like four people joining the server because of that. So I also reached them out. So there is a bunch of things like this that are going on, like the magazine today. I thank you guys. So I would like to know um, how we manage this, basically. Um, and uh, this is sort of a thesis scout kind of area of action. Uh, but yeah, I would like to, you know, have this joint effort of uh, communities welcome these people, and then we can actually also go in, go to their community. But yeah, I think this is a perfect job for comms to bring the branding and the brand of DC also across. Uh, so some members of community, some members of comms, I don't know how you want to handle it, but yeah. So this is the thing for the 27th of October. Uh, thank you, Edu. Um, uh, count, like I, do, did you mention what, what day of the week this was? This is Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, okay, uh, I'd be happy to... Uh, to uh, attend, so so you can uh, count me in. Um, yeah, me too. I would like to go to. Thank you. Yeah, I will. Um, I will share. I will share the channel and uh, what they do. Uh, to your to the comms um, channel, so you can take a look at what they do, and you can find the podcast on uh, Spotify. Actually, the forefront DAO podcast. Uh, yeah, and regarding the um, regarding the the places, I want to know how we deal with uh, how we deal with things that are mentioning us. Like, what what is the what is the call to action when someone like the the how to do curse this podcast um, and all these places that has like the magazine that mentioned us? Like, what do we do with that? Do we feature them on Twitter? Do we add them? Do we promote? We like sort of give feedback on Twitter or uh, we celebrate it, like, what's the kind of, what do we do with that kind of things? Because I feel uh, it could be interesting as a back and forth fostering relationship with other communities. Yes, I, I feel that this is a, a, like an, a, a, an, an interesting point. Um, actually, uh, I, uh, I don't know, but I, I always like uh, come back to this, like about the, uh, like about Social Friday, because I feel that it's uh, uh, like an example of like a coordinated like communication with uh, like DAO to DAO. Uh, so I feel that that step could uh, uh, like shine some some light in, in into this uh, this kind of stuff and in a in a social media level start developing like some kind of uh, like uh interaction or something like this um i mean I, I i personally uh like something uh like more more like natural let's say but uh now that uh zero is gonna be helping out uh uh in some of these uh uh twitter uh, stuff uh this could be like a good opportunity because he has also access for uh to one hive let's say so uh maybe we could uh like discuss in how uh you know to to like make some kind of like interaction or like uh winks you know like between like the, the two communities in uh in a social media level uh this could be like interesting for for uh exploring uh like this this part and and i mean definitely if there's any kind of collaboration with uh with uh, uh forefront uh, DAO, um, we should uh, we should try to also like uh, do something that is like interactive between like the two accounts and and uh, the community can be able to imitate that. Uh, let's say. 
Um, okay. Um, are I there think any other uh, questions about? Sorry, sorry, Funka. Go ahead. Yeah. That um, I think also Ivy um, praises um, everyone who interacts with us um, in Twitter. Um, but yeah, maybe making an additional praise from someone um, or some community that, um, or or like the people who mentioned us in the podcast or something. Yeah, I think there is a step here that we we should not miss, which is the possibilities of reaching out people in our mission and vision. So for me, it's like, for example, uh, probably in a tweet, uh, we can have a certain like frame phrase that could be always the answer. And you have like, hey, thank you for uh, talking about us in X space. Uh, we are this DAO and we want to accomplish this. So every time like I've, interaction should count. And if we are uh, embracing someone's interaction with us, we should be very clever in the way we respond in a way that it's not just like happy message and that's it. Uh, so I, my suggestion could be like, hey, we if you interact with us, we welcome you to join the community call uh, or, or, the, or the social Friday, for example, you know? So uh, probably community call is too much for them, but social Friday could be. It's a nice way to welcome them to our server and we can sort of uh, write a, a catchy message of like, hey, thank you for featuring us in our podcast. Uh, we welcome you to social Fridays and maybe you will receive praise if you come to us, you know, something like this. So they get a little bit mm -hmm. curious about what is praise and what is social Friday. So we can sort of hook up with this interaction. Yes, I, yeah, I, I, think... I, I do think that, uh, go ahead, Ivy, sorry. I um, just want to add something to what Eduardo said. Like, um, I think it's a good uh, thing to do. Like, maybe we can cat make uh, categories of um, mentions, like, um, topics that uh, the uh, with this mentions, and then um, have a different call to actions for different categories. Like, if the mention for TEC is something about um collaboration, then we where do we want to um direct them and then um if the mention is about um contribution uh, contributing to the tec then we um direct them to discord or to the forum you know so yeah i think um we can start with um categorizing the uh mentions like uh just anticipate what would be the possible um topics that they would uh, talk about or ask us on twitter and then um have like uh uh uh, call to action for each category. I have one question. Uh, do we do we have tweet shift implemented at the TAC? Tweet shift. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. What was that again? Do we have tweet shift implemented here? Tweet uh, shift. Uh, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> we don't, right? I mean. Um, I'm not familiar. What is it? Yeah, we we use tweet deck, I think. It's it's a nice. Uh, you can do more than basically. You can interact directly in the Discord with the with your Twitter. When, when so when somebody posts on Twitter, you can automate. You can like from the Discord. Uh, yeah, but I think that could help for the engagement and. Uh, Okay, okay. So, so, so you mean, uh, like, we could have like a channel that says like mentions, and every time someone mentions us in on on Twitter, uh, the bot uh, is gonna post it in in this uh, Discord channel. Is this right? I think there's more ways than one in which we can use Twitch Shift, but, uh. So uh, I'll share the tool here and, and you'll see what's uh, where, uh, com. I posted it in comms. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely check that out to see uh, how this can Im 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 like improve. And also complementing to uh, uh, what was brought up about uh, Ivy giving praise to mentions and interactions on Twitter. Um, yes, it's it's right, but it's for for individuals mostly. Uh, like there's a category of, of accounts 
that no one really is claiming because they belong to one hive or they belong to the gravity DAO. So uh, when it's about like other organizations, I feel that we should make up for that uh, like uh, interaction in some way. Uh, I don't know. I'm just thinking like maybe give them like a little robot or something like uh, thinking about like design. I don't know, but it's, uh, oh, hey, like, thanks for mentioning. I mean, I mean, not like that, you know, but like some kind of engagement that in a way compensates for, for praise, uh, but, a more, but in a more organizational level, which, which could mean like exposure or just, uh, yeah, like some DAO to DAO communication. Uh, I feel that could be uh, interesting. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna check uh, I'm gonna check tweet uh, shift and 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 see how we can uh, like improve this part of of uh, our strategy. Um, okay, going to the next uh, agenda topic, uh, I'll pass it to Manu. He had some idea about uh, uh, Meta Factory. So uh, could you just like do like a brief introduction, uh, Manu, about uh, Meta Factory, uh, just in case some people here don't uh, aren't familiar with that. Yeah, sure. So Meta Factory is a company that partners up with other um, DAOs and other crypto uh, companies so that they can do merch for them. So um, shirts. Um, you know, uh, pants, clothing, um, and yeah, so they have, they have really good products. They, they're always sold out. Um, they, yeah, they're, they're pretty open to, it's actually within their, their Dow business model for other companies to contact them and be like, Hey, I'd like you to help us. Uh, create some swag, you know, and so um, yeah, the I believe the yeah the website is over there. If you guys wanna wanna check it out, it's uh, I'm really not doing justice to the idea. They they also have some NFT um, element into it, and I know Tui shared with me this other company that also has this sort of like a web three fashion using NFTs and, and, uh, uh, that type of thing. So, yeah, I just think, um, given that our, our swag shop is, uh, uh, given that we're improving our swag shop right now, uh, this is, this is not, this is like an addition. This is to augment what we can do with, with the swag shop. It's not, not trying to, uh, make it obsolete or anything. Uh, they already have the designers and and people. They already have the like the flow of people going to their website and buying their own merch. So they're looking for for partnerships, and I think it would be it would be good to to get on a partnership with them. I can I can take the lead on this. Um, and yeah, that's 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 the main idea. So partnering up with them so that we can get more, more swag out there. And I think it's more than just creating designs on clothes. We can do that. It's the actual notoriety that gets in the community, right? It, it has uh, a lot of eyeballs go into it. And again, the things they put out, they get sold out. Uh, so it's part of the, it's part of the culture that people want to, I mean, with my next race, I'm going to buy a meta mask. Uh, sure. Right. Like it's already, I already have that like, like planned. So it's part of the culture to, to actually, um, yeah, to, to tell others, uh, what you're part of. So, um, they, they focus on that part, right. On the cultural, not just creating the, the, the items, but, but the hype around it, I would say. So that's uh that's in 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 Kong's ballpark do you want to put it out there yeah i i feel that this is uh uh this is something very interesting it could be one of the first 
uh, like team proposals maybe. Uh, and I actually love that Hero is here because he has uh, some experience and he's involved in in uh, like clothing uh, design, specifically uh, t-shirts and, and the kind of swag that uh, does pretty well. Um, as, as, as most of you uh, know, I have like some experience in, in so some background experience, like working with musicians and just merchandise always, always works well. Like the sense of belonging that it brings to a community and just uh, curiosity around it. You know, like the, there, there are a lot of, of people with a lot of ether that are always like in, in uh, manufacturing, seeing what's up and something cool that is being put out there. So. Uh, I mean, who knows? This could work really, really great for, uh, uh, you know, for promoting the TEC uh, after the comments uh, upgrade, uh, which could attract also people with a lot of ether. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, this is this is what we want, right? Like for people to support uh, token engineering uh, comments. So, Manu. Uh, I mean, that would, before be, before we go on with with this topic, would you like to uh, add something, uh, Zero? At the moment, no. But but I'm I'm excited about creating a cool design for <laughs> Meta Factory. Uh, so you you send me a link. Uh, was that for? Comps related or just something interesting happening in the sphere because uh, I, is, I saw that there, yeah. The, but, but, the link sorry, the... sorry, this is something actually that uh, uh, Edu uh, shares, if, if if I'm not mistaken. I just can't remember which uh, channel it was. Um, do you remember, Edu? It, it's about um, what was the name of this? What, the, what what did oh, I share? Digital <laughs> uh, digital, di digital Act, yeah. Oh yeah, the magazine thing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, where was this uh, posted? In orientation, uh, second orientation. second channel. Yes. Okay. Oh, I see Emma. Exactly, that's her name, Emma. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is this is where it uh, this is where it uh, uh, came from, uh, Manu. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, and, uh, a little and that, bit of context on that. Yeah, and that's that's I thank you guys because I felt that um, that's also they they feature us in their they call it community community weekly update or something like that in their magazine. So you know it's. Um, I don't know what 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 people is saying about the TEC over there, so I would like to know, and I would like to sort of give them the proper information, probably. Yeah, but uh, well, I I think uh, that regardless of of uh, the tool, but I would definitely take in account like the the uh, the audience that we are exposed to. But uh, I do feel that we we could like. Like if we put out there like some super, super nice uh, swag and it's exposed to uh, an audience like uh, Meta Factory, uh, there definitely can uh, be some some interest. Uh, and, and I feel it could be a great, uh, it could be a great uh, momentum for the comments upgrade. So if you are uh, interested in in, uh, in further discussing that Manu and, and Ciro, uh, yeah, let's let's do that. I would I would like to uh, support this idea and uh, maybe get a proposal for the rest of the community that we can, uh, yeah, put out there. And uh, oh, and as you said, uh, Manu, complementing like what the swag uh, our swag shop uh, already does. It's more of a promotion kind of uh, activity. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and uh, do you want to take it also for this uh, topic you added, the funding idea on, on Superfluid? Uh, yes, it was something It was something Tam mentioned on the 101 we had earlier this morning. And it is, um, so they are programmable cash flows. So it's a way to handle like salaries, rewards, 
bounties and um honestly i'm still looking around uh as to how it works but it is from from what tam told me it is the most um like it is at the vanguard of of uh doing this type of uh treasury management and and uh budget management and that type of thing so it's really more of uh putting it out there and uh i i put several links in there the website is again just the introduction the documents might not say a lot perhaps if you go to the video which is the third link uh there's an interview you can watch it at like 1.25 and it'll be over in like 10 15 minutes uh if if you think that that's interesting i think it's it's one of the most important topics right now, like getting rewarded fairly. So uh, I know we're working on the on the on our funding model. So I wanted to uh, I wanted to share that to see if if uh, it inspires some discussion around it, and if we can emulate some of the things that work on them or just use them. You know, it's just uh, a topic to to spark conversation. But it really, it really is just that I'm not in that position right now to, uh, like, do a presentation about them or or describe them more thoroughly. Well, I invite everyone to take a look at it and see if see if it's something that that can help us move this forward. That's it. Uh, yeah, th this is this is perfect. They they are already on on Nexi, so that could help uh, a lot. Uh, I was also like uh, checking out uh, Colony for maybe just the bounty, uh, just for always like being able to have a bounty board. But maybe Superfluid could even be uh, uh, better in 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 that way, you know, like being able to have uh, in the same place like a bounty board in the platform that will, uh, uh, you know that that will be able to like uh, pay uh, the people, so it can be uh, also locked and and more transparent rather than having like a spreadsheet and then a link to the colony. Uh, so yeah, let's yeah. let's check it. Uh, let's check this out for uh, uh, for uh, as an option for bounty. I'll just yeah. chime in with a comment really quick uh, about superfluid. Um, the Perion DAO on XDAI, which uh, is just a co-owning service for validator nodes of various blockchains, uh, I belong to that for a long time since the beginning, and they've they've been using uh, superfluid streaming funds for uh, maybe five or six months at least, and they really really like them. They've been nothing but a smashing success. Uh, so I just wanted to add that. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, that's that's actually a really good example. I recently checked them out, uh, David, uh, Perion Dow, and and it's like a really good example on on how we can. They have so many knowledge. streams, so many streams flying around. It's like a plate of spaghetti or pasta. It's just uh, those streams are are quite incredible how they're used there. Nice. Thanks for thanks for bringing this to uh, to my attention, guys. Um, would uh, would uh, anyone like to uh, add something else about uh, Superfluid? Okay, let's go to our next agenda topic. Uh, Twitter design for communitas. Okay, we had an issue. We messed up. Responsibility uh, for this. Oh, this thing ran out of battery. Sorry about that. Um, Okay, um, a, a, a new design like was uploaded uh, to uh, to our Twitter, uh, trying to attract some people uh, from uh, like to communitas. Uh, we uh, like I just wanted like to clarify that uh, like this was discussed like about trying something different for communitas, like something that. Uh, would be like different uh, to people, right? Like not like our usual like uh, PhD stuff, like not something else 
that something that would like call them attention. So this was the intention behind it, even though like uh, in a way it like butchers our own like branding guidelines. So, like like we didn't care. Like they, that this is this is how it was uh, discussed. Uh, like among the the like the Twitter uh, uh, the Twitter planning uh, group. Like no harm done. Uh, I mean, sorry, no, no harm intended, right? But uh, apparently there was like some uh, harm done because uh, the community's working group was like, hey, what's up with that design? Like, so, yeah, no. we should have consulted you and uh, I want to apologize for this. Edward. There is no need for apologize. It's a work in progress. We all are doing a work in progress. And uh, for us, this there like no no member of the community that was angry at the design at all it was just the fact that uh i love the flowers i love them uh, i would just make them go a little bit punker uh, because we have this punk spatial uh 3d kind of vibe in most of the designs so i will keep the i will keep the flowers i will just make them go a little bit more punk uh space punk kind of uh aesthetics that yeah. thing uh but yeah i mean i think it's um it's nice it's better than the one we had uh it's just that yeah it goes a little bit further from the branding of the dc that's it but thank you manu was, you, you want to add something yeah i was i was looking forward to the controversy but if it's been resolved then i guess uh, uh i'll just have to watch some reality show after this it's just like this has happened before to us and and it's uh like we 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 are ashamed because of this because like sometimes we rush like to decisions that yeah because like at the moment it's like easy and these should be decisions that go through the advice process and it's not the first time that it happens to us uh so sorry for that uh hopefully this uh can be uh like an an, an improvement and and uh, yeah, just like uh, uh, most of the Twitter uh, team is here, so yeah, let's just uh, like watch closely on that. And and uh, if yeah, just like if if My someone can remind us the next time, it it, it would okay. be perfect and enough. My Sorry. suggestion, no, that's later. It's okay. <laughs> My suge my suggestion will be to just like um, if you manage to create uh, another draft. Just share it in the community's text channel so everyone else can see it and everyone can provide feedback or uh, not necessarily feedback because you won't you won't be doing five iterations of design, but just like saying, hey, this is a design. Um, and that's it, you know? Um, so everyone else in the working group can see it because communitas, now the people who is working there are very focused on the onboarding journey. So sometimes they, I don't think they will be able to manage to come to this call. So if they if you can just make the favor and put it publicly on the community as working channel, that would be amazing. But thanks for the efforts. Anyways. I'm I'm working yeah, on right. on new designs. So they're cooking, but I'm going to show you in the future. Because Tam and Ivy and some other people think that we need um a more attractive designs and I'm working on that. And um, I just wanted to say also that um, we actually don't have a, a, like a solid conversation yet about our branding. And I mean, we don't even have the branding guidelines. Maybe that's why we thought that we can just, um, uh, I mean, we try to stick to the um, branding colors because that's what um, we're more aware of. But when it comes to the theme, um, there have there hasn't been any conversation about that in the comms, I, or maybe I wasn't um present in those meetings when it was discussed. But in a uh, Twitter group, um, we haven't had a conversation ab ar around the uh the theme like that. We just talked about um the branding color. So I yeah, just want yeah. to explain that. I think they could be Ivy's point is like I I don't know also either if that conversation has been going on. Because I don't come to all the comms calls, but I think it would be since we are doing, for example, the rebranding of the um, the onboarding journey and the things on the menus on your left, they will be changed a little bit and reorganized. Like all these things could, like the way the reasoning of why I choose to put a name or a position in the Discord uh, name to contributors or what's the name of the stewards or what's the name of all this 
could be really tied to be tied together with uh, an overview branding that can sort of serve as a guide to understand like, oh, you know, like this kind of manual that you immediately see a design or a name or a working group name and say like, oh, this is not correct because it doesn't fit the branding, you know, also on the intentions because it happens with Comedias working group. Like we were going to call it Constellation or something like that, Galaxy, something like that at the beginning to match this kind of space related thematic that we are sort of uh, unconsciously getting into. And uh, we didn't because it was like, mm, we're not sure, we're not sure. So branding here is a conversation that I think could be really nice to have, at least before Common Soup, right? To have that sort of, you know, thought a little bit. And I shut myself down. Yeah, I agree with that. I think it's important to have this um, conversation ar uh, around um, branding. I think that um, there was a document done by Marco um like some months ago so maybe it would be good to revisit it um and take it like a starting point to to continue this conversation i will share it in the comms uh, channel thank you juanca uh we're at the top of the hour however uh i would ask you for uh like an extra couple of minutes maybe for an announcement that david wants to uh share with us so uh, I'll pass it to you, David, and that would be our last uh, agenda topic today. Yeah, thanks, Chewy. Uh, I, I'll be very brief. And uh, I just wanted to add that uh, it, it's part of the comms responsibility to push the boundaries of creativity. Um, that process will inevitably bump up against limitations. This one is too yellow. This one is too many flowers. This one is too many robots. Um, but I think the comms group is doing a fabulous job in pushing those limits, trying new designs. And um, sorry if one of the two of them sneak out on occasion uh, without full community review. But um, yeah, that being said, I just wanted to announce um, that I've uh, been on a full time position over at uh, the Gitcoin DAO and I have accepted um, so I'll be stepping back from the TEC Twitter to a degree. Uh, I'm not sure how much I still want to continue integrating with the tech community um, but I think maybe my offerings uh, will be a little different than um, than Twitter. Maybe I can focus on some Dow to Dow cooperation stuff. Um, and the last thing I'll add is I want to set up with T Wells a, a trivia round that is including or sponsored by the TEC. I think that would be a great event. Um, we can talk more about that next week. Thanks, folks. And thanks for letting me uh, have um, an opportunity to try to build up our Twitter like that. Um, I hope it's better than when I arrived. Thanks. David, please, you can, I mean, I don't care in which DAO you work, you're more than welcome to join the TC Lounge. Come hang out, still join whenever you feel like. Uh, it's amazing to have you here. So I just want to say that. Thank you. You're amazing. You guys are all amazing. <laughs>